All right, here we go. We're going to make Brick Breaker. So the first thing you need to do is to start a new processing project uh, and save it as Brick Breaker and then your last name. So like Brick Breaker Ragnes or Brick Breaker Smith, whatever. <clears throat> All right, our Brick Breaker class. Uh, the main class, once you have this built, we're going to have to start four different methods. Three of, or two of which you've seen before and two of which you haven't that we're going to make up. Processing <clears throat> is a skin over Java that kind of manages a couple things for you. And so in the setup function, which is specific to processing, we're going to do things like um, create all of the different stuff that we're going to use in our program. We're going to create like a paddle object eventually, a ball some bricks, we're going to set the size of the window, all those kind of initial conditions. All right, and then, um, so this is like, uh, this runs once, one time at beginning of program, and then we are going to have, this is our main game loop, and this is again actually a processing specific function. Now this function runs 60 times per second. So FPS equals 60. That's just by default. That's how processing creates this program, all right? So if you use other Java editors at some point, these are not methods that like raw Java recognizes. We're using processing in part because what it does is it like offloads some of the more frustratingly difficult or time consuming or confusing uh, things that you have to understand in order to draw things to the screen with like what I call raw Java. Um, and frankly, as a person who's just starting to learn to code, you don't need to deal with all that stuff. I know how to do it, but it took me like a year to kind of figure it out on my own. So um, processing basically just like provides you with all the fun stuff without any of this like more boring, awful stuff at the beginning. Um, and those, all of that work is done in these two methods for you. <clears throat> so we'll talk about what goes inside each of them as we go. We are going to add to that our two like uh, different methods. So, um, and I'll explain these and why they're here in a minute. Um, we're going to have like a method that makes changes to things on the screen, like um, moves them around the screen and stuff. And then we're going to display display stuff to the screen, to the computer's monitor. And these two methods, we're going to just name void update. And this is going to be called void display. And um, these two methods, we invent. They're not part of processing. And maybe you can see in the draw method it's dark and it's a blue color and it's bolded. That means that it's processing specific. Ours, if you notice, the text is not bold. This means that it's just like stuff we're making up for our program for our purposes. Okay, well this uh, is the basic outline of our class, but we have to think about like what is a game well it's, it's basically an animation that occurs over time with specific changes so it's like a frame of animation is drawn another frame of animation is drawn and the movement from one to the other is what we experience as like a ball bouncing around the screen or a gun firing or whatever but it's really just two pictures shown in quick succession and so this draw method we need to actually create a single frame of animation that we understand will be done 60 times a second so we're going to you know, update positions and stuff and change the position over time of things. But in the draw method, it just needs to create one. So what we're going to do is we're going to update all of the entities. And this line of code uh, says, do all this stuff, which there's nothing in here yet. We're just kind of setting up the structure. So we're going to move everything around. And then we're going to display it to the screen. And so... This is the sum total of our like outline for our main class for our Brick Breaker game. And I think that's enough for this first video.